Welcome back to the Greenwich House. The team just finished installing the insulation in this house. A lot has changed in the world of insulation. Let's have a closer look. With me today is Rob Romano, who has installed the installation here at the Greenwich House. He has over 20 years of experience, and I'm looking forward to learning some of the details. Rob, the mantra was, vent your roof. We wanted airflow from the soffit all the way to the ridge. And now I see you insulated everything. What's changed? Due to the modern technology nowadays with the foam, we sprayed the roof. We give you complete air seal. Keeps all your equipment in conditioned space. All the equipment works better. The house is sealed tight. What exactly is spray foam and how long has it been around? Spray foam is the modern way of insulating houses now. It's the, been around for over 20 years. What are the differences between open cell and closed cell foam? Open cell foam is a low density foam. It's a 3.9 R value per inch. The closed cell is a more rigid foam. It's hard as a rock and it's a 6.9 R value per inch. And any other ones in between or those are the two? There's maybe six other foams between the foams, but this is the most common use. Some people believe closed cell should be used in the roof. Is that true? No. Being your, in your case, Sabine, you have two by 12s and the open cell works adequately. So I have enough insulation value? The R value 3.9. We could use 10 inches of foam. It gives you a 3.39 R value. Are there areas where you have to absolutely use one over the other, meaning closed cell over open cell? Yes. In the basement where you have the plastic on the wall from American dry basements, we would like the continuous vapor barrier, so we use the closed cell on that area and also in the crawl space to keep the moisture down. So it's a moisture question. Yes, it's more rigid, and it's not porous, and it keeps everything out. What are the price differences between the various kinds? The open cell is actually three times cheaper than the closed cell, and they both work the same with the same air seal, so you get the same value out of both. Rob, tell me about the other material you used here, this rock sole material. The rock sole is good for fireproofing, and it's also good for sound control. Tell me a little bit more about this fire resistance. The rock soil is fire smoke proof and smoke resistance and it would prevent the fire from penetrating through the walls for a half hour. So even though we had all the sheet rocking noise downstairs, it's really pretty quiet around here already. And then the second test happened a couple of days ago, which was a severe drop in temperature. And when you know it, it was actually pretty comfortable in the house, even though we just had some temporary heaters pretty darn good stuff. So I say yes, spray foam is a little more expensive and Roxel is certainly not inexpensive either, but the stuff works. I want to thank you, Rob, for coming and telling us a little bit more about the product details. My pleasure.